has a different vision, knowledge and character, but we have one common goal. We work side by side to create opportunities for the local community. My name is Marcin and I'm the team leader of NASA's University of Dance. I find creativity to be the most important. I am Dominika and for me <coughs> ecology is the key. My name is Gosha and I believe in simple solutions. I'm Angela and I have faith in empathy. And my name is Adam. I think tradition is the ground for identity. We will be pleased to present you two of our seven projects. In these initiatives, we strongly believe that living in harmony is the ground for our future. Profit margins, wholesalers, supermarkets, increased agricultural costs, all of them cause difficulties for small farmers. Many farmers have only a few hectares of land. It is not enough. It's not enough to be independent. It's not enough to be able to cut out the intermediaries. It's not enough to compete with supermarkets. But it's possible to make ends meet being a farmer. It's possible to feed the family. It's possible to sell products straight to the client. And finally, to achieve a sufficient level of income. Our aim is to make it possible. Pełne sklepy, ekologiczna żywność, ekologiczne uprawy, bazary, targowiska, eko, sklep, zdrowie czy moda, a może jedno i drugie. Nie każdy potrafi poradzić sobie z takim biznesem, dlatego rolników z okolic Trójmiasta mobilizują do przedsiębiorczości studenci. Trzy miesiące jeździliśmy po wsiach, chodziliśmy po, po sołtysach, e, nie mogliśmy tego rolnika znaleźć. Udało nam się pozyskać jednego rolnika e, z Kaszu i tak się zaczęła nasza, jakby nasza przygoda. Two years ago, we set up our first fresh market in Dance called Village in the City. In Poland, our brand is known as Wozewsi. Through last year's edition, our market became a natural shopping point for customers who appreciate high quality and for farmers as a source of constant income. It was a huge success. For us, that was an excellent foundation for the future of our project. We decided to use the awareness of our brand, which had enormous business potential to be self-sufficient. As a result, we created two simple business models and implemented them. The first of these models is used in our brand new market, in Gdynia. Farmers pay us a fee of 80 zloty per market for this step. Our second economic model was used in our new market in Gdańsk, which was open with our help and knowledge. This market is owned and operated by a young entrepreneur. We license our brand to the company he established, and in return we receive 100 zloty per market. All the profits we make from these business models are reinvested to improve the quality and to develop our other projects. To show you how deeply we change people's lives, here is the story of Marcin Michalak, one of our farmers. What did you do before the village in the city? Przed zapoznanie studentów z Enactusa pracowałem za granicą. Było, było to bardzo niefajne, bo musiałem zostawić żonę, dzieci. How did the project village in the city change this year? Bazary, bazary w ostatnim czasie się bardzo rozwinęły, dzięki czemu możemy tutaj inwestować w gospod w gos na gospodarce. Ostatnio założyliśmy system naładniania, ogólny te średni Średni obrót z bazaru yy, wynosi w granicach 2000. We've heard that we have some news you want to share with us. Tak, mogę się pochwalić. Żona urodziła synka. Józef się nazywa. Tutaj Stach i Antoś mają braciszka. 15 exhibitors have the opportunity, like Marcin Michalak, to be a part of the fast developing village in the city. Despite last year's success, we had higher ambitions. Here are the main achievements from this year. Modernization of our first market, open every two weeks. Establish two new markets in Gdańsk and Gdynia, open every week. Convenient opening times, from 2 
170 m. Every market is visited by over 500 customers who have the opportunity to buy a low processed fresh products. As you can see, the overall revenue generated is over 1 million lotes. Take a look at the screen. One farmer at one market earns approximately 2,000 lotes. There are about 15 exhibitors at each. We've managed and promoted 36 markets in June 2013. So that's where the astonishing result comes from. These benefits wouldn't be possible without the close cooperation of both the Gdańsk and Vilnius and Host that helped us with the promotion of our markets. The Star Arva Association and the Science and Technology Park in Vilnius rent us places to organize our markets. In the near future, we are planning to extend the scope of our brand by opening a fourth market in the city of Poznan. As our project was developing, we noticed it wasn't just farmers that had problems. Nowadays, people don't have time for healthy nutrition. They also don't have time to go to the fresh market for low-processed food. We live fast. We do not pay attention to which products we are buying. We do not pay attention to where our food comes from. We do not pay attention to bad eating habits from an early age. In our project, we strongly believe in the importance of education. We began with inviting specialists to our markets to inform customers about good eating habits. Nowadays, lots of children think fruit and vegetables grow in grocery stores. They don't really know how much more goes into growing plants. We cooperated with all kindergartens from Sopot, growing a small vegetable garden in each. Children sold carrots, lettuce and onions. With our mascot, we provided lessons which combine education and fun. to become a sensible client that cares about their health and about the ground. And now it's time for our second project. C. Plant. Production of low processed food. Healthy nutrition. All of them need strong roots and are trying to flourish. The path to achieve harmony and growth is taking care of the ground. Make it pure. Make it fertile. Make it free of waste. Give a second chance to something seemingly useless. Teach how to do this from an early age. We aim to meet this need by creating our second project, Slow, Second Life of Waste. We all know that kids are the future for our planet. We believe that kids can change the future. We just have to show them how to start. By doing this, we can influence their parents as well for an immediate answer to the problem. In this project, we don't only cure, but most importantly, we prevent. The first edition of the Second Life of Waste project was to of activities. We cooperated with dance studios, gyms and primary schools. We created something great, but not perfect. Using our experience and knowledge, we decided to focus on schools and their students. And this way we created a totally new slow competition designed to educate and entertain. The scale was huge, but the idea was simple. Eight weeks of collecting plastic bottles and waste paper. We invited primary schools from all over Gdańsk to take part in the contest. Almost 10,000 pupils from 24 primary schools joined us. Competitions such as this take a lot of effort and resources to set up. We showed our plan to Krupalotos, who decided to award it for grant and gave us the money to get the project off the ground. To encourage kids to take part, every school received a copy of an educational movie we made which explains in a friendly and funny way what our competition is about. Next, to motivate them, we visited schools to run eco lessons with our mascots and gave them colorful stickers and pins. Results were uploaded to the website we created. 
All children were able to see their and their friends' scores, which ignited competition between them. We took a great step into the future independence of the project by beginning to cooperate with Zakwa Utilizacine, a reprocessing organization. They lent us containers, which were given to each school. Children were putting plastic bottles in yellow and waste paper in blue containers. Zakwa Utilizacine emptied them open and delivered the contents to our warehouse. We shared the idea of the contest with the president of the city of Gdańsk, Pavel Adamowicz. With our cooperation, he organized an award ceremony. After two months of eco-rivalry, the top 50 children, the best class, and the school that collected the most overall were rewarded. A multimedia whiteboard, educational trips, telescopes, and gold medals were just a few of the prizes given to our participants. <laughs> Bardzo ta akcja mi się podobała, że zaczęła się od dzieci. Dzieci się zaangażowały, zaangażowały to swoich rodziców, swojej rodziny i stąd myślę, że edukacja w tym momencie nastąpi całych rodzin właśnie poprzez dzieci. One to zainicjowały, myślę, że będą pilnować w domu, bo rozumieją o co chodzi i stąd no bardzo się cieszę, bo myślę, że akcja trwa kilka tygodni, ale skutki, takie pozytywne skutki będą długotrwałe. To summarize, children collected 80 tons of waste paper and 140,000 plastic bottles. To illustrate just how much that is, imagine a marathon. If we laid out all the bottles in a row, their length would be equal to 42 kilometers. That's the distance of a marathon. But wait a moment, it is not the end of our project. What could we do with so many bottles? Toys, flower pots, or even something more useful. We decided to convert plastic bottles into quilts and pillows. We placed an order with five companies which together create a production chain. In our report you can see the details of the whole process. Overall, 300 quilts and 300 pillows were made. One of these companies, Selectis, was founded by a young man, previously a member of an Actas University of Gdańsk. Last year, he was the leader of the second Life of Waste project. We helped him to get all the permissions to operate secondary raw materials, paper, glass and plastic. Besides its main activity, which is the collection of these materials from companies in our region, he helped us to store, sort and transport the bottles, quilts and pillows. We combined business model with a social responsible initiative. We donated 300 quilts and 300 pillows to five homeless shelters from the Pomerania region. Do you remember our award ceremony? It was also an opportunity for the homeless people to meet the children that helped them. Tomasz Maruszak, who takes care of the homeless people, came to the gala to thank the children. What an amazing job they did. He explained how important it is to help others and how important it is to plant the seed of caring in young people. Those young, pe young people in future could be entrepreneurs, caring about other people and caring about the ground. Warstwa pomocy mienia świętego brata Alberta Kołogdański prowadzi placówki dla około 200 osób bezdomnych. No one oczywiście muszą skorzystać z kołder, z poduszek, a jest to artykuł, który w naszej specyfice bardzo często ulega zniszczeniu, zabrudzeniu i my ciągle potrzebujemy, potrzebujemy tego materiału więcej. Także ta akcja jest bardzo fajną akcją i bardzo dobrze wstrzeliła się w nasze rzeczywiste potrzeby. I to, że otrzymamy nową partię świeżych, czyściutkich, pachnących kołder i poduszek na pewno pozwoli naszym podopiecznym na, na, na normalne spędzanie, spędzanie czasu w placówce. Taka inicjatywa wspierania osób bezdomnych łączona z edukacją ekologiczną dzieci jest świetnym przykładem na osiągnięcia równocześnie kilku celów. Konkretnie pomogliście osobom, które sobie nie radzą. Pomoc, która idzie z nie instytucji, idzie od ludzi, a zwłaszcza młodych ludzi, zawsze będzie przyjmowana inaczej niż ta pomoc od instytucji typu Miejski Ośrodek Pomocy Rodzinie. It is all about harmony. Ecological education of young people. Huge scale competition involving children, their lives and teachers. Processing bottles into quilts and pillows. Donation of quilts and pillows to homeless people. Social education of young people. And that's how the circle goes around. Today we have presented our main projects, but Enactas University of Gdańsk is much more. 
This year we also conducted online with natives, five language lessons for students with native speakers from Belarus. Future in your hand, series of business training for prisoners. Additionally, we organized three commercial events, conferences dedicated to students. These provided funds for our Enactus projects. Our initiatives are based on helping the planet, generating profits, educating and empowering people. Village in the city, almost 200 children educated. Creation of the most recognizable food trade brand in Pomerania region. Over 1 million lotus revenue of our exhibitors. Creation of two business models which resulted in establishing an entrepreneurship and constant source of funds for our projects. Second life of waste. Almost 10,000 pupils educated. 140,000 plastic bottles and 18 tons of waste paper collected. Recycling company established. 300 wheels and 300 kilos made and delivered to the homeless shelters. We believe our knowledge and passion is the ground for finding solutions for modern problems. 50 students were able to impact 15,000 people directly and 50,000 people indirectly. We believe our actions make a difference. We believe harmony is the ground for our future. We are an active